According to the American Pregnancy Association, an estimated 120,000 to 160,000 women in the United States are infected with HIV. Of these, approximately 6,000 to 7,000 women give birth annually. While research suggests that in most cases, HIV will not cross through the placenta from mother to baby, 90% of the children who died in 2018 due to HIV were infected with the virus during childbirth. Yes, that does mean that pregnant women pass their HIV infection to their babies if proper care isn't taken. The transmission of HIV from an HIV-positive mother to her child during pregnancy, labor, delivery, or breastfeeding is called mother-to-child perinatal transmission. If necessary precautions aren't taken, transmission rates for HIV range from 15% to 45%. Fortunately, these transmission rates can be reduced to below 5% by taking potent measures during pregnancy, labor, delivery, and breastfeeding. In most cases, these measures involve antiretroviral treatment for the mother, and a short course of antiretroviral drugs for the baby too. Perinatal transmission is the most common way children are infected with HIV. During labor, it can either pass through the placenta and affect the fetus, or it may get transmitted as a result of exposure to the virus in the mother's blood and other fluids while the baby is being delivered. When a woman goes into labor, the amniotic sac breaks, which is often referred to as the breaking of water. Once this occurs, the protection for the baby from fluids of the mother is compromised. In other words, the risk of transmitting HIV to the baby increases. Treatment for HIV-positive mother during pregnancy has two goals. Firstly, to protect her own health, and secondly, to help prevent passing HIV to the fetus. So what can you do to reduce the risk of passing HIV onto your baby? Firstly, if you have HIV, discuss it with your doctor. Other steps that you can take to reduce the threat of HIV transmission include taking a combination of anti-HIV drugs during pregnancy as prescribed, having your baby by cesarean delivery if lab tests show that your level of HIV is high, taking anti-HIV drugs during labor and delivery as needed, giving anti-HIV drugs to your baby after childbirth, avoiding breastfeeding. It is important to note that having a cesarean delivery may carry additional risks if you are HIV positive. Women with low CD4 cell counts have weak immune systems, so they are at a higher risk of infection after surgery. Drugs to prevent diseases are given during cesarean delivery. The incision may also heal much slower in that case. Nonetheless, by following the guidelines above, 99% of the HIV-infected women will not pass HIV to their babies. Specialized counseling about healthy diet with attention given to preventing iron or vitamin deficiencies and weight loss as well as a particular intervention for sexually transmitted diseases like HIV can be sought nonetheless. It is recommended by Abudo that women who have not received any drug treatment for HIV before labor should be treated during labor with one of the several possible drug regimes. Studies suggest that these treatments, even for short durations, may help reduce the risk to the baby. Moreover, babies who are born to HIV-positive mothers are tested for HIV several times in the first few months. The tests look for presence of virus in the baby's blood. The baby is said to have HIV infection if two of these tests are positive. The baby does not have HIV infection if two of these results are negative. Conducting frequent tests and knowing that the baby's HIV status is not positive will greatly help you stay ahead of the disease and ensure a healthy life for your baby. For more information on what options you have to minimize HIV transmittal to others, sign up at Abudo's online platform and know what precautions to take.